Macaulay. I'm at Pray It Off in Syracuse, New York. And I'd like to direct everyone's attention to the back of the food log because so many people still say to me, Ellen, I just don't know what to eat. I, I, I need some sort of direction. And I've included a one-week dash meal planner, 1,600 calories. Now, if you're religious about it, and you have 1,600 calories and you don't lose weight, then your body doesn't need 1,600 calories. You might have to drop something off and go down to 1,500. But 1,600 is a good starting place. And it gives you an example. A whole wheat bagel. We're not talking honker here, everyone. <laughs> We're talking a very small bagel. You know, not like rah, rah, okay? And the operative word is whole wheat. It's got to say whole. Okay? And then two tablespoons of peanut butter, not half the jar, <laughs> a medium banana, and a cup of fat free milk. Okay? That's breakfast. Lunch, turkey sandwich. But it didn't say on what. So yeah. what do you think it should go on? Whole wheat. Whole wheat. Whole wheat. Operative word, whole. Now, it doesn't say things, does it? It doesn't say lettuce. But do you think lettuce would hurt everybody? No. But what else doesn't it say on that sandwich? Mayonnaise. It doesn't say mayonnaise, does it? No. So, what does that mean? You don't need no stinking mayonnaise on this diet, okay? What else doesn't that sandwich have on it? Cheese. Cheese. Do you think tomatoes are going to hurt you, anyone? No. Put a couple slices of tomato. You don't need the mayo. You don't need the cheese. Half a cup of baby carrots, a medium apple, and a cup of fat-free milk. And you might say to yourself, I don't like fat-free milk. Substitute something else. Almond milk, water. yogurt, water, something of that nature. Dinner, baked chicken breast, a cup of brown rice pilaf, a half a cup of green beans, and a cup of salad. What is not on there? Dressing. Dressing. Does it say honker blue cheese? <laughs> no. Now, I think you could have a couple tablespoons. I cannot, I cannot eat salad without some sort of dressing on it. Yeah. I have tried, and it's just like, I just can't do it. Now, if you get some very low oil and vinegar, and he heavy on the vinegar, low on the oil, and what else doesn't it have on there for the green beans? Butter. Butter, butter. butter. okay, because you don't need no stinking butter. Also, then they give you some ideas. Now, DASH stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. You might say, I don't have hypertension, Ellen, and I say, good for you, let's not get it. Let's not get it. And you know, you can get cocky. You can say, hey, I'm 68 years old, and I have never had hypertension. Well, Bob and I have our complete physicals in uh, June. It's how we're going to start our retirement. I could, he could, I could go in there and say, hey, your blood pressure's kind of high. I'd be like, what? That can happen at any time. So we want to keep our eye on that. Fruits are two cups daily. Two cups, 16 ounces. All right. Vegetables, one and a half to two cups daily. Now, if you say to me, Ellen, I just can't help myself. I have to have three or four cups of vegetables a day. I think you'll be just fine. The fat-free or low-fat milk or dairy is two to three cups whole grains, six ounces. So if you're having six ounces of whole grains, how big can that bagel be? You know what I'm saying? Maybe we're talking a half a bagel. Lean meat, fish, and poultry. Or we're talking about food. People are like, oh my gosh, we're talking about food. All right, lean meat, fish, and poultry. Three to six ounces a day. Three to six ounces isn't even a stinking cup, everybody. We're having steaks that would feed five or six family members, you know? <laughs> also, nuts, seed, and legumes three to four times a week. It doesn't mean get the can of cashews and just sit there watching your show. I have to, if I have nuts, I have to count them out. I know my own limitations. Mm. Also, sweet salt and alcohol used sparingly. I think if you're going to try and have 1,600, and as an experience, experiment, you shouldn't have any of those things. You're only supposed to reintroduce those things when you're at your goal weight, when it's a special occasion. People in this group are having pizza, and it's a Tuesday night. And I say, oh, was it a special occasion? Was it someone's birthday? Was it, 
you know, what was the occasion for pizza? And they look at me like I'm speaking a foreign language. <laughs> there should be a special occasion. We are in a weight loss group, everyone. I am a member too. I know how hard it is. I have struggled right along with you. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that tonight. I'm going to stop right there, Bob.